Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this session. I'm gonna uh, take an example on uh, graphing, sketching. I have here two graphs, the voltage uh, graph and the current graph. The question says the current through and voltage across an element vary with time as shown. So it's variable. The voltage from the uh, time 0 to 10 was a straight line and then descend and then a straight line. The current is going uh, up and then down from 0 to 15 and then from 15 to 25. The question uh, asks for sketch the power sketch the power delivered to the element for t greater than 0. Now to sketch any power I have to find the power. How would I find the power just from the uh, graph? I can. So I would go and find each equation of each line of those. All right, we have five equations we have to find. Now I want you to remember the uh, line equation. The line equation, if I have two points on a line, then I can find the slope first. Y two minus Y one over X two minus X one. That mean uh, that second Y which is here the 5, minus the first y, which is here the 30, over 15 minus 10, right? So if we're talking about this line. And then step 2, I'm going to apply the equation of the line here. I pick one of the two points. I already have the slope from step 1, and then I just plug in and solve the equation for y. And this is how I find an equation. Okay, let's move and see how can I find this equation? We said for this one it's 5 which is y2 this is x1 y1 x2 y2 okay 5 minus 30 over 15 minus 10 it's a negative 5 now you plug in for m negative 5 and I would pick one of the two points one of the pair so I'm gonna pick this one the first one 10 and 30. I'm going to plug in y1 as a 30 and x1 as a 10. Now for the y, the y-axis is v so I'm going to put v and the x-axis is t so I'm going to put here t. Now let's uh, foil in the negative 5 let's uh, multiply in negative 5 times t negative 5 t negative 5 time, uh, times uh, negative 10 is positive 50 negative 3 to the other side why because I wanna leave the V by itself so it becomes positive 30 30 plus 50 is 80 right so this is the first equation for the first line how about this line and this line they are straight line that mean it's constant that mean the voltage here is 30 all the time there's no need to find an equation and here the voltage is 5 right so V equal 5. Now I'm done with the first graph. I can go ahead and write it as a piecewise function. I'm going to say for the time interval from 0 to 10 it was 30. From 10 to 15 the equation I just found. From 15 to 25 it's 5. Right? So this is the representation of the first uh, sketch as a uh, equations now let's begin with our second sketch the current I have two lines one is going up one is going down the M for this line is 30 minus 0 over 15 minus 0 I'm just gonna give you another way to find the slope it's it's called the rise over run now if I started from this point how many steps did, did I go up how many steps did I rise 30 how many steps did I walk to the east? Always to the east. 15. So it's like you're saying 30 divided by 15, which is 2. Here, 30 divided by 15, it's 2. The other way is to say 30 minus 0 over 15 minus 0, just like we said here. Now, I plug in for the m is 2, m is 2 and I will pick one of these two points. I would rather to pick the 0, 0, it's easier. So I'm going to plug in for the y10, the x10, and the y, we said, here the y is i, and the uh, x-axis is t, right? So the x is t. So I plugged in for the, let's start here, y, i. y1, this is y1, right? It's a 0. 
equal to, I already found it in step 1, t, which is x minus x1 is 0. i equal to t. Now, the second part, we say 0 minus 30 over 25 minus 15. Or, I went down, so it's a negative 30. So negative 30 over, I walk to the right from 15 to 25, it's 10 steps, right? So it's like you're saying negative 30 over 10, which is negative 3. Again, I plug in for the m, negative 3. And here you put the y and here the x. I picked the, this point because it has a zero it's easier so this is y1 and this is x1 so the zero is here and the 25 is here you uh, multiply in negative 3t negative 3 times negative 25 is positive 75 so this is the second line equation now I have this function from 0 to 15 and from 15 to 25 and those are the two equations 2t negative 3t plus 75 I put them here. Now you want to find the power. Now all of us know that the power equal v times i, correct? All right. So I have here three intervals. Here two. How would I decide the intervals for p? If I look at the sketches, I know that this straight line from zero to ten will be multiplied by this equation, which we said to t, right? And then from 10 to 15, this descending line would be multiplied by this rising line, right? Which is negative 5t plus 80. I'm going to multiply it by the 2t. Still the 2t, because until here, I'm talking about the 2t. Now the constant 5, I'm going to multiply it by the descending current line, which is negative 3t plus 75. So if I look at these, let's go ahead. 30 times 2t from 0 to 10. 30 times 2t is 60t. Now, negative 5t plus 80 between 10 and 15. Here, 10 and 15 still in this interval, right? So 2t uh, times negative 5t plus 80. Go ahead, 2t uh, times negative 5t, it's negative 10t squared. 2t times 80 is 160t. And the last one is 5 times this, which is negative 15t plus 375. Just multiply n. Now, since we have the power, how do I sketch it? This is uh, inc an increasing line. How, how did I know? If the line has a positive sign, that means it's increasing. If it has a negative sign, that means it's decreasing. Uh, this is a square. The square, if it's positive, then it's uh, a u. If it's negative, then it's like a, a hell, right? So here I'm going to start from 0 to 10 and I'm going to uh, draw a line that is rising. To know where would I end up, just plug in the 10 in this equation. 60 times 10 is 600, right? Now, it's a hill, right? A downhill. And uh, to know where I end up, 15, plug it in here. Negative 10 times 15 squared plus 160 times 15. By the calculator, you would have 150. So I knew that I would end up at 150. And then from 15 to 25, from 15 to 25, another line, but it's descending line, right? Because it's negative. And where would I end up? Plug in the 25. Negative 15 times 25 plus this number would give you a zero. So this is the power sketch. That was the first part of this question. The second part, He's saying, what is the total energy delivered? We know that the energy is power times t, right? But if we have a variable power, that means it's integration. Always the multiplication is integration. Integration, the power with respect to t. From where to where? From 0 to 25. That means I have to integrate this from 0 to 10 plus this equation from 10 to 15 plus this equation from 15 to 25 and here is the last part from 0 to 10 the 60t how would I integrate you all know that if I have a polynomial x to the power n you add to the power a 1 and then you divide over the power so t to the power 1 is t to the power 2 over 2 from 0 to 10 right and then here 
t to the power 3 over 3 t to the power 1 it becomes 2 over 2 from where to where from 10 to 15 for this one t to the power 1 it becomes 2 over 2 right and the number I just add a t to it and then from 15 to 25 now I plug in the number on top so 60 times 10 squared over 2 minus the 0 60 times 0 over 2 so this would give you a 30 again here 15 to the power 3 times negative 10 over 3 plus 160 times 15 to the power 2 over 2 all of this I have to sp subtract it from 10 when I plug in 10 so you find that when you plug in 15 you find the answer and then minus the 10 10 to the power 3 over 3 times negative 10 plus 160 times 10 to the power 2 over 2 so all of this and then the same goes here you add all of these you get this number 5833.33 joules is the unit for energy that's the end of this uh, 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 question I know that this question is like nobody likes sketching I don't like it myself so the good part that for next times we will be talking about circuits like uh, I'm gonna take next time I'm gonna talk about the power concept and we'll draw a, a circuit and we would know if it's real or not so stay with us